Well, it is so hard to believe that summer vacation is coming to an end. Already ended for some kiddos and they're headed back to school. As a mom, I worry about lots of things. Adjusting to the new schedule, which backpacks we're going to get. Also, is their physical up to par? So many things. And that is why this morning it's a true pleasure to have Dr. Marco Antonio with us from Tepeyac Clinic. How are you, doctor? Good to see I'm you. Well, thanks. Good to see you, too. Claudia. It's a Thank good you time. for having me. Yeah, it's a good time to have you here because, as a matter of fact, today we're going to go shopping for backpacks. Now, there's a thing with this because choosing the right backpack is actually really important. It has to do with kiddos and their backs. Tell me about that. Of course. So you want to choose a backpack that's going to provide stability and comfort, and you're not going to end up with a kiddo with a sore back and sore shoulders. Mm -hmm. So you want to choose something that's stable with two wide straps. Make sure that the heavy components go in the middle and make sure that your child wears both straps on their back as opposed to just one. The just then one, you yeah. end up with a very sore back and a very sore shoulder. So this could indeed cause some pain for them. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. Let's talk about traveling to and from school. There are some important things to know during this journey. Right. So there's many different ways to get to school. You know, you can ride the bus, you walk, many kids take their bike or get a ride from mom and dad or, you know, teenagers are driving themselves to school. Mm -hmm. So the number one thing to remember is safety, safety, safety. If you have a little one who's going to the bus, make sure you practice that route. Make sure you review crossing the street and crossing the street safely. Okay. Make sure they're wearing helmets on a bike and make sure you practice that bike route. And also, if they're getting onto a bus, reviewing how to get on and off the bus safely and wearing their seatbelts. And when you're in the car, of course, seatbelts are important. And it's also important to remember that unless you're 13 and older, you need to be in the back seat. Got it. These are all very good refreshers here. Right. Okay. This is one I struggle with. Moms, dads, you could probably feel me on this. The lunch box. Ugh. It's so tough because you want to send healthy things, but then you also want to send things they're going to eat. How do we pack a good lunch box that's going to, one, be healthy and make sure they get enough to eat? Involve your child in the shopping. Okay. Bring your kid to the grocery store. Have them choose things they like. Remember to include a healthy fat and a good protein with every meal. Now, what is a healthy fat? Eggs, peanut butter, uh, cheese, yogurt. Okay. Those are all things that have good protein and good fat and they're gonna help, help to keep them full for a little longer. Those are good for breakfast and they're also good easy things to pack for lunch. Okay, those are all things that I could do, the peanut butter and the eggs. I think they, my girls would be okay with that. Now another struggle, the study habits, homework. I mean, they're shifting from summer right. to back to school, which is the strenuous schedule there. What's the best way to do that? Make homework a comfortable experience. Set up a place in your apartment in your house that's cozy, that has desks and plenty of light, and is rid of the distractions of the cell phones, of the video games, mm -hmm. of screens. Um, make it a comfortable place where there are snacks. And remember to always check in and make sure whether your child needs help and if they do need help don't be afraid to reach out to your teacher to your school got it good advice all right and the last one here is sleep now dr marco antonio is my anna kate's doctor and, and she's been going to bed at 10 o'clock at night, 10.30, sometimes I catch her, she's still awake, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Right. What do we do to adjust to her school bedtime and why is that important? Right. It's important that school age kids get between the eight and 11 hours a night. And if you're anything like my kids, they wanna push that back as much as possible. Yes. Remember that going to bed at the same night, at the same hour every night and waking up at the same hour every morning ensures a good amount of sleep and that's important for their brain development, it's important for their learning and it's important for their health. Okay, is it okay to, my mom swears by these gummies that are like vitamins, but also helps them go to sleep at night. Have you heard of those? Of course, so okay. melatonin gummies are safe. Okay. Um, you can speak to your child's doctor, but certainly you also wanna make sure that they're away from bright lights. Cause those okay. bright lights coming from phones and tablets will tell your brain that it's, that it's still daytime and it makes it harder to go to sleep. That makes so much sense. Well, good luck to me and all the parents out there who are dealing with back to school. Thank you so much, doctor. And it is Anna our Kate pleasure. doesn't listen, I'm going to tell her you said so. Absolutely. Or she's going back to go see you for a shot. <laughs> That's what we usually say, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Scan the QR code on your screen to prepare for the upcoming school year by making an appointment today. Tepeyac Community Health Center offers great resources. Find them at tepeyachealth.org. Para más información, visita el sitio en internet. Es tepeyachealth.com. We're back in two minutes, everyone.